Nice to meet you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. I need to oh, yeah. <laughs> No, you're not. <laughs> We're going to do a workout with Danny. We're in self-made Temecula. I've heard about all these great workout philosophies, and um, I'm kind of keen, but also a little <laughs> bit nervous about it at the same time. So. Here we go. <laughs> we're gonna put it. We're gonna put it in the play. Okay. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go step by step here and kind of teach you all the foundational, how to start, how to do it, how to put the body placements in. Because this is just a machine. This is a independent running machine. Okay. So it's equal arms on here, but we have to manipulate your body to work the pack. Okay. So what I want you to do is go ahead and lay down on there, and it's all positioning. So feet solid on the ground. Okay. Okay. So now arch. So this is the arch I was telling you about. You always want to put the pec up in the air. So now all this weight is going to be effective here. See, if I, if I were to push you down, effectively now all the weight's going to go on the shoulder. Yeah. By positioning this up, the pecs are now active and fully ready for the weight. So am I high enough up? I feel a little bit low on this seat. What no, are you? You're actually, uh, or am I? No, you're actually I'm okay. Good. All right, cool. Yeah, you're actually good all the way around. It's going to go in a backward motion. Okay. So just start there when you're going to come down nice and slow. Right to the halfway point, right there, back up. One. Two. See, now his pecs are fully engaged and not resting at any point, not at the top and not at the bottom. So I don't Five, pause at the right. top, I just drop it straight down, okay. Eight. Nine. Ten. I forgot we're doing 20, aren't we? 12, we're gonna hit it to 20 reps. 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, and on his 20th one, you want you to come down really slow. Keep that contraction in. Three, two, one, perfect. Good. Now come over here. It's that oh. 20 that sort of makes me think differently. This is a straight arm pull. This exercise Robbie Robinson showed me the man that looked like a bat with a 28 inch waist. And he showed me the proper way to do this. It's just like, you'll see a lot of people do it and they got their wrist straight and they're pulling down like this. I don't feel that anywhere on my lats. So what he taught me is like, grab it like a gymnast would grab a handle going up on the iron cross. Just lay your wrist on it, wrap it around here, feet together, flex the lats, let it pull all the way up immediately because I worked back I could feel it ripping at my lats right now and then pull it straight down chest up touch it in here let it go all the way up stretch I'm all, actually on my tiptoes stretching coming in and pulling it tight into the waist arms are as straight as possible okay, okay? watch the feeling in that watch the difference so lay your wrist on it just like that right, just like yeah. a gymnast would now activate your lats flex them Okay. Let it go, let, let it pull up and get the stretch step back about half a step right there. So get that step yeah. and I'll pull it straight down right up into here. One. So when you're here, I want you to up a little bit and just pull it in. One. Now let it go all the way up. Two. That's in that arch. If you actually feel his lats, they're actually active from his armpit down to his waistline connecting to his obliques. And that's what gives you that beautiful V taper. And you can see everything's active. His triceps, his shoulders, but his back is in full flexion right now. Every part of his back, his latissimus dorsi, his rhomboids, everything in here is active. If you were to feel it like I am feeling it, you could feel all the activity all the way down to here. And he's gonna do 20 reps with this, and he's gonna catch on fire. Look at his triceps. Because of this motion, it ties this with the tricep, with the shoulders. It's gonna give him incredible strength because now all those muscles are working together. What number are you on? 16. 16? 17? 18? He hasn't released contraction at all. 19? And 20 and hold it right there. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. <laughs> 
Yeah, I can feel that fan. You feel that? <laughs> yeah. That's why that's why you'll see gymnasts with these big, big beautiful backs, V tapers, because they're actually engaging their body. You never let, they're never released. They always stay in that contraction zone where they could pull themselves over the bar, out on the iron cross. You know, so they, and they always have a false grip on everything. Right. So it engages the lats, it's not using the forearm or the shoulder. Okay. It's actually using the strong part of your body. All right. Okay. All right, let's do this again. Let me add a little bit of weight to it. I want to put a little bit more iron in this diet. <laughs> a little low on iron, so let's add some more. <laughs> Arch. There you go. Activate chest and then go. One. Two. Three. See, functionally, he's working his pecs. He's not working anything else. Even though he will feel in his triceps and his shoulders, his chest is set in the position where he's getting about 80, 85, 90% more effectiveness in chest development by having this position in his body. Beautiful. All them capillaries should be firing right now and burning like a dog. Number. 15. 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Beautiful, good man. All right, now we're gonna change it up a little bit because you could use a, a, a curl bar, you could use a straight bar, or you could use ropes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a rope on okay. there and watch the difference of this. I'm just a few sets in and I'm now worried. <laughs> it's this, amazing how when you do it like a lot slower, you just kind of like feel as though you've had a full workout cool. yeah. after two sets. Well, just two sets, <laughs> exactly. So now, same exercise, but now we're just changing up the dynamics or you're gonna feel it in a different little areas, still on the back, but you're gonna feel it in different areas too. You're gonna feel a little bit more in the intercostals, the serratus, okay, okay so. You'll watch and you even feel a little bit more in the triceps too. We changed the dynamics of this exercise and added the rope instead of the curl bar. And so what we're gonna do is activate different muscles within the back. You're still gonna get the same effect as the back, but it's gonna tie in the serratus and intercostals more. So what we do is the same exact motion, up high, come in, wrap it around the body all the way. So you get to pull it in a little bit deeper. So now you're really gonna feel it in your inner triceps and get that motion. Okay. Feet together, touching. All right. That keeps you in a paradigm right there. One. Two. Get that stretch all the way up. There you go. Three. Yeah, I feel that. Four. Full range of motion in the state of contraction. So you keep it in that contraction zone and you're just keeping it sweeping through. And it's just keeping that whole lat muscle activated the whole time. His triceps will be on fire here in about a minute. Because it's a whole different pull. He will actually get bigger tricep development just on this one exercise because that's a different pull that you never do. And those inner triceps just catch on fire. So he's not only going to get a big, beautiful V tapered back, but beautiful sculpted triceps, deltoids, intercostal, serratus, and even abdomen because he's tightening his core. Number? 16. 16. 17? Wow, look at that in the mirror. Look at those muscles. And again, hold it. 20. 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. How does that feel? I'm burning. It's burning like crazy, huh? So that's two exercises, two sets each. So usually that's what I'll do. I'll have people do two at, and then we'll move into three. Yeah. So three supersets, right. and it's always already inflamed. I mean, you got things just firing. So let's go on to the next yeah. exercise. So on this one, this is your pull down. So this should be the right height for you. Go out as far as you can, so go on the far of the rubber right here. The thing with the pull down, whether it's on this machine or the, the, the cable pull downs, you always want to mimic a pull down, uh, a pull up. Okay. So when you're on a pull up, you're underneath the bar. Right. You're not back here, and you'll see people doing this. Yeah. Well, I feel that more in my bicep and my front shoulders. So what you want to do is be under the bar at the start, and as you pull it down, you arch your chest back and pull it down here. Okay. You pull into it like you're going underneath it, pull it back down, just yeah, like okay. you're doing on a pull-up bar. So forward, feel the stretch, come in, feel the contraction, okay? Okay. Once you learn it this way, you never do it a different way because you really feel it. So right now, he's straight underneath the bar, just like on a pull-up. So he's gonna mimic a pull up on the pull down. Right there, you'll arch just a little bit. Right there, and then go forward. 
and then come back. Three. Four. Seven. Look at all those lats flare out right there. Eight. Nine. Ten. Watch his rhomboids and the movement back here. Ten. Look at that. Full deltoid, rhomboids, the full back, because he's in the position of an actual pull up, but doing it on a machine as they pull down. So he's got full activation all the way around. His lats, his rhomboids, his spinal erectors running up and down his spine, all the way down to the bottom. Full muscle contraction. No wasted effort. There should never be any wasted effort in your exercise. You should be working that muscle fully, not partially, but fully. Whew. Feel that, yeah, huh? Yeah, I can. All right. <laughs> so what I like to do is we have, we have a fascia across the muscle. So what I would like to do is like every two exercises, stretch. Okay. So you want to do is stretch the fascia so the body could actually grow. It'll push that fascia out so it gives it a little bit more room. Just stretch and lean into that arm and just stretch it, stretch it. Three, two, one, and then reverse the hand and then stretch it. Three, two, one. Do the same thing with the other hand. Three, into that arm, stretch it. You should feel from your armpit all the way down and then reverse. Three, two, and one. Good. They're uh, using the bench press right now. So if someone's using the bench press, you grab a bar and get a flat bench. Yeah. You don't need a bench press. So on this one, you're gonna wanna grab so your arms are always in a parallel. I'm usually about midline. Okay. Here, let me demonstrate. You never wanna be inside, so my arms, you notice my arms are going inward. Yeah. Okay? You never wanna go outward, because now you're gonna feel it in your shoulders. Right. You wanna be, they have a line on these bed, these bars for a purpose. The line is right there, and I put my middle finger on it, now my arms are parallel. Okay. Okay? So here, I arch my chest up, and now you're gonna come up right here. Okay? That's as far down. So you don't touch? Nope. You don't need to. You need, just need parallel on the bar. Do you see my arms are yeah. parallel to the floor? You just keep that contraction right there. Down here, that's, that's, that's power lifting. That does nothing for my pecs. It does everything for my shoulders and triceps. This is pectoral up here. You can even bring it to your chin if you have the flexibility, okay? All right, arch the chest up. You're gonna bring it right down to here. Right there. You're gonna keep it down about right that far. Right there. One, two, three. You see right there, his arm is parallel to the floor, and that's a contraction of the muscle. It doesn't need to go any farther because you know, stretch in his tendons, ligaments, and his rotator cuff. We don't want that. We want him to have beautiful shoulders until he's 100 years old. So right there, it's full pec. It's pulling the whole pec muscle all the way around by moving that bar just a little bit this way. That's bodybuilding, but more it's body sculpting. Number. I think it's 10. 10, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. and 20. Beautiful set. How'd that feel? You feel the difference in yeah, your pecs? Yeah, I can, yeah. Right, yeah. just the bar, but. With just the bar, but you feel on your upper pec, your middle pec, your lower pec, yeah. it's pulling the whole pectoral muscle. This is where I tell people, if you get bored, like, oh my God, I'm always doing the same pull down, let's do a variation on the pull down. Let's do a single. Okay. Single. Yeah. Double. Okay. Okay, or you could do 10, one arm, 10 the other, and then 10 this way. Okay. Okay, let's do a. 12 on each side. Okay. So let's start with one side, 12 reps. Again, configure your body. So now you're balanced by having this arm holding here yeah. and your body straight up and down. Two. Three. Now you're challenging yourself for balance. Four. Five. Six. And you see the tempo, always the same. Always the same tempo up and down. You don't need to go fast, you don't need to go super slow, it's right in between, so the muscle is actually working during the full range of motion here. Beautiful. In 45 minutes, it'll feel like you did a two hour workout. 
and 12. You can come up and keep that tension on yes. feel it when you're holding it. Yeah. It's like anything on balance. Right. If you just drop, if you just drop the one arm, if you just drop the one arm, all of a sudden your body gets disconfigured. That's why I've never done single arm anything yeah. unless I'm holding on to something. Because yeah. then you're 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 not in the context of uh, it's like you see people doing one-legged squats or one-legged leg press. You're putting your body in such a detriment, your spine, you right. know, and then you're relaxing this side while this side's active. So you, you, you don't, what do you think? Because I talk a lot about now sort of like single-sided training. So in, in terms of single-leg squat then, you're not... No, there's of, no reason to. Right. If you're actually going slow enough, you know, or you're actually contracting everything down, you shouldn't have to. Now, if you're doing this, yeah. oh yeah, then then you're not getting you're, you're getting a little bit more here than there, but you're not activating anything. But when you're slow, you're actually squeezing everything, and you should. It's almost like putting a band on. That's right. why you see people with bands all yeah, over them yeah. because they're not contracting, and, and that's teaching them to contract. Right. Okay. Doing what we do slower motion and full contraction, you're going to get twice the benefit, twice the exercise. Again, it's like getting a two-hour workout in 50 minutes. Okay. All right, hey, we got the free bench press here, so let's uh, let's put some weight on. What do okay. you want to put on there? 25, 35, um, 45? Yeah, we'll start with 35, 35? 45, you yeah. My, my, my friends are going to make me look as though I'm a wimp now, but I know if I do 20, <laughs> I'll probably fail. So, yeah, 35. That's this ego thing we spoke about, that, isn't that's it? That's the ego thing. <laughs> but you know what? I always knock that ego down because here I have four NFL guys, and I put 35 pounds on the bar, and they go... Really? But then they do it and they go, oh yeah. my God, they're burning so bad, they don't know which way to go. Yeah. So I'm like going, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Who yeah. cares about the weight? It's about effectively That's how we're right. building that body. But you're right, like what we talked about, unconsciously, I'm like, I'm not gonna fucking start with 35s, you know? Yes. But it's, you're right, you know, it's, it, it is a bit of a embedded ego, ego thing. thing. <laughs> but, but think about this though, in, in a month or two from now, when you put 225 pounds on here and you do it 20 times that way, yeah. that's strength. Right. When you put 315 pounds on here and do it 20 times, that's strength. And that's what will happen. Your, your actual strength goes into a vertical loop on this trying to training. 20 reps, it's like a miracle thing. It's, it's, it does something with a growth yeah. hormone and adrenaline or something that it makes you incredibly strong. Right. I mean, before you know it, and I guarantee you, you do this stuff, two three months from now you'll go holy moses so you're always looking for a parallel always looking for a parallel on the arms when he's doing this so it's not hitting the rotators stop right there five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 16, 17, 19, and beautiful number 20. You know what another incredible thing is? When you don't touch your chest, there's no rest. So you're actually forcing gravity back up. So think about all that force, you gotta stop that weight coming down and then have the force it back. The fibers in there are doing like a piano. They're doing this. Yeah, I can, I can feel a, yeah. quite a pump already. Yeah. Let's go to the next exercise combination. This, this is the one that's the killer for most people. This either makes or breaks you on this one. It'll either take your breath away, drop your knees, or make you throw up or pass out because <laughs> it, 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 because it really incorporates <laughs> a lot of muscle and a lot of stamina, and it, the blood flow is crazy right here. After that introduction, I'm really looking forward to this. This is a make or break you exercise, and usually people on their first time. They don't make it through this one, but you will because you're pretty fit. So this is a, this really is an overall body exercise. Um, it incorporates your glutes, your hamstrings, a little bit of your quads, but entire upper body, okay, core included. Okay, it's kind of a, a standing row. This is Vince's exercise. Um, he did it a little bit differently than I do, but he did it more for upper. I do it for entire back arm, shoulders, core, to get people in top shape for their shows. You can either do it sumo stance or this stance, so we'll do it both ways. We'll do sumo stance first. What you do is you come down to this position. Okay, by coming down to this position, right now my I'm not down here, I'm actually up here activating my, my hamstrings, okay? Right. So it's like diving into a pool. So it's just enough of a stretch, come in, pull it up into your chest, right underneath right where the little rib cage comes in here. Just wrap it right in here, contracting the shoulders, the arms, and the whole back. So this is the motion. 
Okay. Like a kind of big row. All right, 20 reps with that. Okay. So when you come down to that position. So is that the bottom position? Yeah, you feel that right yeah. now? Okay. Yeah. So that's the activation all at one. Top, yeah. Perfect. Look at that, first time. Two. A seasoned, seasoned athlete right here. Three. His whole back is active. Lower back, upper glutes, shoulders, triceps, everything in this one movement. So basically, you could do this exercise and hit every muscle in the body with just this one movement. Look at the tie-in in his lats right here. Goes all the way down. Number. 18. 18. 19. And 20. All right, now I'm gonna raise this up and we're gonna do chest fly. All right. This one's this one's called 21, which you could actually take it to 30. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do, you're gonna stand out this way, foot planted forward. You're gonna come in here, yeah. you're gonna come back, come here in the middle, okay. you're gonna come back and you come up high. Okay. And you're gonna go back right down the same way, up right. and down, okay? okay? All right, let's go. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20 and 21. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. So I like that. You like that? It's nice because it hits the whole three areas of the chest. Last set, just right here. Just okay. pump it till you can't go anymore. And then that's it. That's, right. you're, you're done. You're done with chest. Nice. All right. So this will be a narrow stance, standing row. The same exact motion, except for your narrow stance now. So now you're going to fire a whole different part of the leg, back, and upper body. You're going to feel a total difference. It's the same motion but just in a narrow stance. Okay. You're gonna feel more in the middle of your glutes too. Stand back about three feet, feet together, or a little bit farther apart, right there. Perfect. Activate those glutes. That's right that. there, a little bit more, up. right there. Then bend it forward. One. Stretch that lat. Two. Three. Perfect. Four. Five. Six. Seven, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, look at the mighty pump, 17, 19, I love it, and now hold, hold, three, two, one, beautiful. I've got my, my zone on, I do my, Big plug yes, for now. Yeah, I was just see, interested to see what my, uh, especially my heart after rate that, is. Especially after that exercise. Yeah, 75%. So that's, yeah, that's not bad for a strength workout yeah. in the green zone. Yeah. yeah. 75%. So it gets that heart rate up. It's getting the heart rate up, yeah. Okay. So guess what? You're burning fat, building muscle. Short rest. I like that, really. Short I, rest I like period. the kind of pace. Yeah, the only thing you should do is to change the weight. Static stretch. Just the stretching. A little yeah. stretch, stretch. Right. You know, just a little bit of stuff that's just to stretch the muscles and you're ready to roll. Right, okay. Let's do it again. This one, yeah. So this time, let's do seven here. Yeah. Seven here, and then seven here. So that's okay. a different variation on the 21. Okay. One, right there. Two. Three. Five. Seven. Middle. Seven, one, three, four, five, six, seven, a little higher. One, four, five, six, and seven. Hold. Hold. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna torture him a little bit here, okay? Old old school bodybuilding. Just let him rest a second. Now I just want you to pump right there. One. No, just come in. Just give me pump, the full pump right here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And hold. Good. Done. 
That's good. How's my heart rate like now? <laughs> I bet your heart rate's up there right now, huh? So, see, the thing is, is, is variation, push. 77. 70, 70 what? 77%, 77 so I'm 133 beats per It drops minute. fast, so I go to show you how healthy you are. <laughs> but always a variation Thank where you. you could add a pump at the end. You could um, do a drop set, but always on the last set. Never on the middle sets, always the last set, just to push him far. But I'm watching him and watching his how tired his muscles are getting, so I'll automatically grab his hands and just and just lightly, I mean so lightly that you're not feeling it, but just making you get th through those 10, yeah. that I'm just letting that muscle go, that's it, you're done. Isn't this great? 62 years old and what? 51. And 51, <laughs> 62 and 51. And we're knocking it out of the park over here, all right? Come on you young guys. Yeah. <laughs> the last thing I'll show people um, on chest is the proverbial push up. Here, make sure the body's straight and just push up. Give me up to 30, okay? Nice full contraction. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Body straight. Good. One, two, three. Best pec exercise in the world push ups. You make your client, your client, your athlete do 20, 30 push ups, two, three sets after a workout. They'll never feel anything like they've, they've felt in their chest after doing this. Because that's a natural chest building exercise, your body weight push-ups. A simple push-up ends up being a full-blown exercise. What are you gonna imagine building that up to three sets, four sets, even five sets, right. like getting ready for a show, but even it's like going, you know what, let's just do these two exercises, five sets each, yeah. and it'll blow your mind. And then, you know, it, you, wherever you can take your mind, it's like going, no, I got more because Every exercise hits a different head. Right. So you have relatively three exercises per body part. Okay. You know, legs you could do four. Um, three exercises and how many sets per exercise? Uh, sets anywhere from three to four. I don't three do any more than three or four because this kind of intensity. Yeah. This is where Vince used yeah, to you say. Yeah, I can do more than sort of three or four of, no. of those really. Well, Vince, Vince says it like this. This type of training is like and putting your finger in a light socket. It's a shock to the system. You will be so sore because it's not a surface pump. It's okay. all the way to the bone. Yeah. You know, so recovery is gonna be 72 hours plus okay. on these workouts because it's progressive resistance. Every time you add one weight, every time you add one weight. It's not staying at the same weight, it's always adding a little bit more. And then when you start again, you start a little heavier. So right. if you started with a 35, you start with a 45. You start with a 50, next time you start with 60. I know you tempted to, one of the things I'm like, the weight was, it was nice, and obviously at 20 I struggled. Temptation is to put more weight on. Do you sort of ease, or, you know, like take the weight out of your head and just try and get that, you know, the good feel. quality feel for 20? Yeah, yeah. If I, if I see that you're struggling at 18, 16, 17, 18, I'll say stop at okay, 18. Yeah. You know, next set. You're, you're struggling at 12, 13, 14, I'll say stop at 15. Right. So it's either 12, 15, or 20, and, but anywhere in between is fine too. Yeah. Because you don't want to hurt anything. You don't want to no. tear anything. So that's what being a trainer, you're watching the person going, they do one more, their arm's going to fold and yeah. it's going to hit them or they're going to tear something. So you got to know when to say stop. And you, as an athlete, got to know when to say that's enough. I'll recuperate a little bit more and I'll do the same weight again and just, just perfect form. Just do yeah. everything in perfect form. And I like it when like, as and I want to keep going on about being old, but as you do get older, the joints and yeah. the heavy weight does create a bit of pain. Like there's, there's been absolutely no pain. It's been more like I can focus on the movement because it's not, yeah. it's almost like when you use bands, you, you, you don't kind of, do you use bands out, out of interest? I, you, I never use bands you don't, because yeah. I, I have that contraction thing in my to, mind. Yeah. So I have everything under full contraction the whole time. And then being old, you know, if he's old, I'm moldy because I'm, you know, I'm 10 years older than him. You know, so no joint problems. I'm 62, no joint, you know. So this type of training does not hurt the joints, does not hurt the tendons and ligaments. No jarring, no. you know, it's like no excessive weight. So it's just progressive resistance under control.